Well, hello everyone, and thanks for tuning in to my channel, Farm, Fish, Hunt, Eat. Today's video is going to be a product review of a Woods Axe. It's called the Montane Full Size Camp Axe. I didn't see any other product reviews of this on YouTube, so I thought I would give it a try. Stay tuned, and I'll let you know how it is. So before I jump right into the review of this axe, I wanted to say thank you to everybody that's uh, tuning into this video, whether you be a first time viewer of my channel or you're a returning subscriber, I really appreciate it. So I'm just going to jump in now though and talk about this Woods axe that I purchased last night. I bought it at Canadian Tire. Uh, it was $29 plus tax, which was, you know, a really great deal. That was regular price. and. Uh, if you've seen my channel before, you know that I burn firewood or I'm always outside having a campfire of some sort, you know, throughout the year. Uh, thus, having wood to burn, you need axes. So I use this big yellow one for splitting my large pieces of wood. I use those two uh, for splitting kindling. Now, they're getting up there in age. You know, this little wooden one is broken, uh, cracked. The handle's been struck with another axe by mistake so I think I maybe paid 20 bucks or less for that at home hardware about 10 years ago this one's still a decent little axe for splitting kindling you know just has the fiberglass handle I gotta say I'm not a big fan of fiberglass it just doesn't feel right you know when you're splitting it's uh, it does its purpose again it was a cheap axe it probably lasts me another 10 years however I had been looking for another axe, and I really wanted to purchase a Grand Force Brooks axe, just because they looked pretty cool, the quality seemed pretty good, but they're over 200 bucks. So I talked to a friend who had one, and you know, he likes it, but he said really it wasn't really that great of a performer when splitting firewood. So I just happened to be out last night picking up oil and spied this, so I thought I'd grab it. Woods, if you're not familiar with the brand, has been around a long time. When I was a kid, you would see their name on, you know, canvas tents and sleeping bags and all sorts of outdoor equipment. It kind of died off, but Canadian Tire seems to be reviving the brand and they're now also selling it at Sportcheck. We'll see what it's like. It's uh, overall 15 and 3 8 inches long and it's a pound and seven ounces in weight. So it's great, you know, it's meant for, it says, camping, adventure, home base. So we'll see what it looks like. Well, I've just opened up the package. You almost need an axe to open those plastic packages these days. And I have to say, for 29 bucks, I'm pretty impressed. You know, it just comes with this little uh, sheath or scabbard for the, uh, the hatchet. It's probably just a cheap uh, vinyl, but hey, it's just going to be in your backpack most of the time probably anyways and for 29 bucks what do you expect but it's a nice feature to have um, as far as quality of the axe itself I have to say it, it looks pretty cool you know I mean it's uh, seems quite sharp I can tell you know it's, it's got a decent edge to it I don't know how well that will sharpen up uh, I'm not very uh, experienced at sharpening things. I do have a whetstone and I have a, um, I think an, a round stone called an edge tamer, which I practiced on the, uh, the cheaper axes or hatchets that I have. But you know what? It just fits in your hand nice. The belly of the handle fits just great. You can choke up on it closer to the, the head of the axe itself. The pole looks like it's nice and flat so you can uh, hammer in some tense spa uh, spikes or a nail or, or you know just all purpose around the, the ho house or homestead and uh, it's got a nice little cheek on it there so you can uh, split kindling with it it's not rounded at the uh, toe or, or the heel so we'll see how it splits it is got a it does have a small beard so let's give this a whirl and split up some kindling and see what it looks like so I got the piece of uh, hardwood split. I'm going to try to do this one-handed. I don't have uh, 
I do have a head strap mount, but it's not very sturdy. So let's see how this goes. That's about a good 14 inch piece of, I think it's maple. And uh, we'll give this a whirl. Wow. Actually, that was pretty good. That was better than I thought. That's uh, dry firewood. That's been uh, in my basement since last year. But you can see that this piece here is, that's a good four inches across. Let's give it a whirl, one-handed. Now it's stuck in there pretty good. But I'm guessing she'll go through with a second time. Ah, you know what, that's pretty good. I'm impressed. For a cheap $29 ax, what can you say? I'm not going to win any awards with this video for sure. But yeah, that's uh, one-handed. Beauty. There you go, folks. Short review. Customer satisfaction for sure when it comes to this uh, little hatchet. Uh, I'll let you know, perhaps in future videos, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and uh, I'll get back to you. Thank you.